Okay, so the um, purpose of this lesson is to um, demonstrate the use of the TI-84 Silver Edition Graphing Calculator to solve linear systems of equations. And so we've already had our um, brief introduction. And what we're going to do now is we are going to um, have a look at the uh, second page with our examples. And uh, what we're doing in uh, these two examples is we're going to use the TI-84 uh, in order to solve uh, the two linear systems in example two. Um, and so, as mentioned in the previous um, uh, or in the introduction on the previous page, the first step is to get both of these equations in the standard form, the y equals mx plus b form, and that really amounts to isolating the y. And so as you can see from uh, equation number one, the first equation, y equals 3x plus 2, this has already been done for us. And so what we need to do is begin our work with the second equation by isolating y in order to be able to graph. And so what we'll do is we'll do that quickly. So uh, we have 2y is equal to 11 uh, minus x. Um, we move the x to the right-hand side. And therefore, if we divide through by 2, we have y equal to uh, 11 minus x, uh, and th that is all uh, on top of 2. And of course, we could write this, uh, if we wish, uh, instead as 5.5 uh, .5 minus uh, 0 0.5 or 1 half uh, x. Either way, it doesn't really make any difference whatsoever. So what we're going to do now is go to the um, graphing calculator. And so... Uh, when using the uh, TI-84, the menu we're interested in is the Y equals menu. This is our function menu, and uh, we're going to begin by entering our two equations. And so our first equation is Y equals 3X plus 2, and we'll hit enter, and it pastes it down to the second. And what we're going to do, uh, you can also see on the, on the bottom of the screen view here, this is not the view you will have, of course, but... Uh, this has graphed our function. Our second function, y is equal to 5.5x um, uh, minus 0 0.5, uh, sorry, 5.5 minus 0.5x. Of course, the alternative is to enter it um, with parentheses, uh, 11 minus x, uh, and that would be divided by 2. It is important that we use parentheses when dividing because we want both of the terms to be divided. Okay, now we're going to hit graph, and there's our first equation, our second equation, and what we're interested in is our uh, point of intersection where the two graphs cut each other. And uh, on the TI-84, in order to find that, what we do is we're interested in the calculate menu. You see above the trace button, we have the word calc, um, and a couple of different ways of getting there. What we're going to use is anything in the blue menu you use the blue button, the second function, and then we push the trace. That actually takes us to the calculate. And then what we're interested in is number five. Uh, we're going to calculate the intersection. And so in order to calculate the intersection, uh, we're going to either toggle down using your cursor keys to number five, or of course we could have pushed the number five, and we'll hit enter. Now, of course, the, uh, you can graph multiple functions on one set of axes, in fact, up to 10. Um, and so this is the purpose now. The calculator needs to know which curve, so it's not a curve, but they're named curves. Um, you'll see in the top left corner Y1, so that's one of our um, uh, functions. So we hit Enter, and uh, in this case, it automatically moves to the second function because um, there are only two functions graphed in this case. And so we'll hit enter again. And now what the calculator is asking for is a guess. Uh, we don't really need to guess. Uh, essentially, this function is because there may be graphs with more than one point of intersection. And so what the calculator requires is that you type in a value near the intersection point so that it can get a correct answer. Uh, in this case, that's not necessary because linear functions can only possibly have one uh, intersection point. And so we'll just go ahead and hit enter as our guess. There's no need to type in a value. And what we have here is our solution now. The intersection at x equals 1 and y equals 5. And so if we come back over here 
to our graph, um, we have our solution uh, x equal to 1, y equal, um, y equal to 5. And in terms of showing working, we've shown the working for the rearranging of the equation. But what we would also need to do would be to um, sketch a graph um, of what the calculator has done for us. Um, and so this is going to be our point of intersection, the point 0.15. Um, and we can just go ahead um, and sketch, in this case, our lines of intersection. Um, and so, again, a rough sketch uh, is perfectly acceptable in this case, um, preferably, however, using a, uh, a straight edge. And so here we have our uh, two lines. Um, this, of course, is our um, second function, y equal to 11 minus x over 2. And in uh, blue, we had our y equal to 3x plus 2. And our solution x equals 1, y is equal to 5. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second example. Um, same procedure. Uh, exactly the same procedure. You'll notice the difference, however, um, is that this time the axes do not have um, a scale on them, and uh, there's a specific reason for this. So what I'll do is I'll just go back to the uh, TI, and we're going to go in, and I'm going to clear out those functions because we don't want I don't want any confusion between the previous question and this one. Okay, so if I come back in here, uh, step one as before, I'm going to rearrange both of those equations. So uh, first I'm going to move the 3x term to the right hand side, becomes minus 3x minus 4. Uh, and the second term, a uh, little bit of uh, additional work, so I'll start by moving the uh, x term to the right hand side um, by subtracting. Uh, we don't have a, a constant there, so we don't have to worry about that. And then as a second step in this equation, I'm going to multiply through by 2, um, and the purpose of that is to get y uh, by itself. Uh, in all cases, we isolate y. And so in this case, I'll have y equals, and I must multiply the right-hand side as well. And so what I'm going to end up with is y equal to minus 4x. So now we have our two functions, and what we'll do is go ahead and graph those to find our point of intersection. So back to our calculator. Once again, we're in the y equals menu, uh, and we're going to type in our function. So uh, very important on the ti, if we need um, negative 3x, not, it's not being subtracted from anything, we don't use the subtract button, or we're going to get a syntax error. In this case, what we're going to do is use minus 3x, and we are then subtracting 4. Okay, and so that's for our first function. We can use the cursor keys now to get to the second one, or, of course, we could hit enter. Similarly, for minus 4x, we cannot use the subtract. Um, uh, and I'll show you very quickly. If we use the subtract and hit enter, um, we are going to get, uh, as you see on the right-hand side, a, what is known as a syntax error, which is a typing error, okay, or uh, an error in the notation. So what we need is to type in the negative 4x. We'll hit enter, and then we're going to move over to our graph. And uh, again, what you see here is that the graphs are heading towards each other, but on this particular window, um, we cannot see the point of intersection. And so if I calculate, I'm going to select number 5, the point of intersection, first curve, second curve, and I'm going to hit my guess. Um, the calculator is going to find um, my point of intersection for me, but the point of intersection is not uh, going to be represented on the graph because, as you can see, uh, it is intersecting at y equals minus 16. And so this is an important lesson about what is known as the window. And so I'm going to come over here to the window button uh, and select window, and what you'll see is that the window is the settings for the axes, the x-axis and the y-axis. In this case, the default setting is from minus 10 to 10 for the x-axis and minus 10 to 10 for the y-axis. And if we go back, uh, we can we saw our point of intersection 
was way down at y equaled um, uh, minus uh, 14. And so what we'll do is we'll go to our window, um, the x uh, coordinates uh, or um, domain was fine. What we need to do is alter our range uh, and we need the y minimum, let's say, to be minus, uh, try that again, minus 20. Um, and we'll go back to the graph. And what this will allow us to do uh, is to see, not very clearly, but to see our point of intersection. And so I'll redo the calculation, um, calculate the intersection, first curve, second curve, guess. And here we have our um, intersection at x equals 4, y equals 16. And so we'll come back across to make a note of that. Our intersection x equals 4, y equals minus 16. Or, of course, we can write that as a coordinate point. Um, and what we'll do now is um, sketch a graph of that. But what we'll also have to do is mark off um, on our axes um, an appropriate uh, scale. And so, in particular, um, I'm going to mark off minus 20 and going down in increments of 5. Oh, sorry, that should be minus 10. 10 minus 5. Um, and we had our intersection point at minus 16 and at x equals 4. Um, in this case, we do not need to alter the the uh, x scale, uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, I'll mark off uh, that as uh, 5, and um, we'll leave the x scale as is, um, and our intersection point is going to be at 4 minus 16, which will be approximately that point. Uh, we should label that point on the graph, uh, and that is the point 4 minus 16, and then we should be sketching our graphs fairly accurately. Let's see if we can get the uh, line function to work here. Okay, and so our first line would be uh, our y is equal to uh, minus 2x line, which passes through the origin. Uh, and our second line uh, is going to also obviously pass through that point at a slightly different slope, um, and that uh, had minus 3x minus 4, and so it's going to pass through the uh, y-axis at minus 4, and uh, that will give us a um, reasonably accurate representation. Of course, you could plot the key points on your graph and then join them with a the straight edge. Okay, and so that concludes the demonstration on how to use the uh, TI-84 to uh, sketch graphs and solve systems of linear equations.